Good morning, everyone. On the seventh day of Vlogmas, the Scrivener gave to thee some of the things I do on my morning commute. I know it doesn't rhyme, but whatever. So I have a bit of a commute for my job, and it's long enough that listening just to my own music isn't really enough to keep me occupied. So what do I do to pass the time besides just talking to myself? Which I do. I listen to podcasts, and they're free. It's awesome. Stuff You Missed in History Class is definitely one of my favorite podcasts. They have a two-part episode that I really love about the history of Disneyland's Haunted Mansion. This morning I just listened to an interview they did with the guy who runs the Rejected Princesses Tumblr. I reblogged that episode to the PNS Tumblr if you guys are interested in listening to it. There's also a live recording they did pretty recently about the Reynolds pamphlets that they did at New York Comic Con and it was awesome. Ugh, I just love that podcast. Stuff Mom Never Told You is a feminist podcast and Paige really enjoys that one. Over the summer they did a really interesting rom-com miniseries. One of my favorite episodes is about women animators at the Disney Company. So Many White Guys is an interview podcast where Phoebe Robinson brings people who are not white guys onto her show. She's a fantastic interviewer. My favorite episode is probably either the Roxanne Gay one or Gina Rodriguez. Both are really interesting. And finally, The Penumbra. The Penumbra is the only one listed here that is not non-fiction or informational. It's a fictional anthology, and I'm actually going to explain it a lot more in my next Vlogmas video, but to some it up. It goes back and forth between telling the story of a non-binary bisexual PI who lives on Mars and the standalone episodes. And the standalone episodes range from horror to swashbuckling, wild west sapphic romance. It's really fun. I also listen to audiobooks. I don't really have a lot of time to sit down and read the way I used to. And when I'm driving, that's time that is otherwise wasted that I really can't do anything else. So audiobooks are a really great way for me to still experience books when I otherwise would not have the time to do so. There are lots of audiobooks available on YouTube for free. I also signed up for Audible, which is very very reasonably priced, but I know it's not a viable option for everybody, which is why you should really look into your local library. I had forgotten how much I loved libraries and just how many free resources there are available to you. My own library has an app that I can download to my phone so that I can download audiobooks to listen to on the go. And it's wonderful. It's how I listen to Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe, which is read by Lin-Manuel Miranda, and it was beautiful. Something else really cool about audiobooks is that books usually written by celebrities often will be read by the same celebrities. So Aziz Ansari's Modern Romance was fantastic and so funny. Trevor Noah's book, Born a Crime, which just came out and I'm still listening to, is also read by him. And actually my first Audible purchase was Lovey Ajayi's I'm Judging You, which was a lot of fun. I would also recommend the Jim Dale narrated audiobooks. He does an amazing job of coming up with different voices for each character. And finally, I listen to 8-Tracks. Eight 8-Tracks Eight is an online site that also has a mobile app where you can listen to playlists for music. It's great for writing, it's great for commuting, it's great for whatever. And that's all I can think of right now. So thank you for joining me in the car today. I hope this gave you some ideas of how to help your own commute. And these aren't even things that are restricted to commuting, which is super awesome. Like I can listen to an audiobook when I'm cooking or doing chores. Whatever fits for you and your life. Like this video if you think any of the stuff I mentioned here sounded interesting. Leave a comment below with your favorite podcasts or audiobooks. And subscribe to The Princess and the Scrivener for more Vlogmas videos. The Princess will see you tomorrow.